Good afternoon, kids. This is Brian Lewis here, and... Oh, wait a minute. This just in. The first successful hoverboard is alive and ready to strive. Many questions were brought up after this. Had no hoverboard came out. How does it work? Does it work? Does it defy gravity? Before the crew here at CPW answers these questions, we're going to bring it over to Lion Brewis, who will give us a sneak peek of Tony Hawk flying the first Hendo hoverboard. Thanks, Brian. I'm here live at the scene with Tony Hawk, about to ride the first Hendo hoverboard. Let's go check it out. It's, it's pretty gnarly. Wow, that was pretty gnarly. Thanks, Lion. Next, we're going to hand the mic over to Ian Uwis, who is going to show us how this Hendo hoverboard really works. Thanks, Brian. I'm here with a brand new edition of the Hendo hoverboard, and I'm going to show you how it works. So the real magic happens here on the back with the wheels. Now, generally, there's actually two sets of wheels, and they each have two, so it'd be two here, two here. And I'm going to show you a close-up model of the wheels to explain how this works. Uh, this is a close-up model of the wheels on the Hendo hoverboard. So as you can see, these black dots represent magnets, and they switch polarity so it goes north-south, north-south, and on. So these magnets, these big wheels are attached to motors that go around 133 rotations per second, like this. And when they rotate, they sit so fast that it creates a magnetic field that can withstand the weight of a full-grown man. So we're going to give a demonstration of how this works. So since this is uh, magnetic fields, it only works on a metal surface. So this would start rotating like so. And then you could try to push down as hard as you wanted, except it would still levitate above the ground. And this is, And as a matter of fact, it can withstand 500 pounds of force or 1224 newtons and this is why people like Tony Hawk can levitate above the ground. That's just mind baffling. Lastly, we're going to explain whether this is anti-gravity and how it relates to what we're learning in class. As a matter of fact, this new hoverboard does not actually defy gravity. It just repels the metal surface allowing it to levitate. However, this hoverboard works because of polarity, magnetic fields, magnets, repulsion, force, and many other things we learn in class. If you go online, you can buy these for only $10. Sorry, $10,000. However, you should still consider getting one of these because the people over at Hendo are letting us know that the future we see on TV is closer than you'd actually expect. This is Brian Lewis for CPW News. Thank you. Create the magnetic field. Oh my god.